Hi guys, and welcome to another beer review. Today we've got a Dunkel from Paulana. And uh, yeah, very solid brewery. I don't think I've rarely had a bad beer from Paulana or any of the other German breweries affiliated with them. I'm not sure if they're a conglomerate or if they're just uh, not necessarily... Well, I think they are classed as a macro group. But um, yeah, I don't think I've rarely had a bad beer from Paulana. And this is one that I've never had before. I am partial to my Dunkel beers, and uh, yeah, this one is hopefully going to be a good one. Clocking in at 5%, so it's just straight along the uh, 5% ABV. Don't know what the hell that was supposed to mean. Uh, but yeah, really nice simple bottle, of course. A nice dark, is that like a navy metallic blue, I'd say, to represent you know, night time. And then you've got metallic and gold lettering, and they are really nicely labelled, the Paulana stuff. And there's the back label, and there of course is the fantastic Paulana crown. So recording this on the night that I reviewed the Augustina and another Paulana beer, the Münchner Hell Light, which was a lighter version of the Heller's beer, which I think is much better than uh, regular Heller's beer, even though the Heller's beer is one of my favourite beers from Germany. So uh, yeah, my glass is a little bit dirty because I've just been using the same one for my beer reviews. And uh, yeah, this is the Munich here. I always sound like I've got like something in my in my nose or my throat when I try and pronounce the uh, Munich here. I don't know. The, the German language, when you're learning at the age of like 20 odd plus it's really hard for little things to even absorb um, if i was a kid and maybe we were taught in school i'd probably you know be soaking it up like a sponge but i don't know it's i always make the the most stupid of mistakes and it frustrates me and then that just hinders my you know german process uh but yeah anyway as you can see it is a, a nice dark beer it's a nice I'd say slightly oaky sort of colour, not completely opaque, relatively see-through. You've got some nice ruby red tones on the side of the glass and then a nice golden tone on the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much carbonation you can see through the camera if you look more towards the nicely carbonated and the head dissipated pretty damn quickly. So let's see what it smells like. Get like a, a slight toffee aroma. Muesli in there. There's like a nice smokiness about it. There's a woodiness there. Peppery sort of malt tones in there as well. And I'm getting like a, a licorice on the aroma too. But yeah, it smells like a really good dunkel. So let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. It's got like a, a slightly sweet, cakey sort of vibe about it. It's got a nice nuttiness there, but maybe like a caramelised, already slightly sweeter nut variety. So I like the stuff that you see when you go to, if you've ever been to, um, well I'm sure a lot of countries in Europe have similar little festivals, but if you go to like adult or something like uh, the Oktoberfest and you've got all these stands and they've got like nuts where you can get like a, a cone of nuts and varieties and all that sort of stuff in there like sweetened and that sort of thing it's got that feel to it but it's not too sweet got a slight like bread mixture sort of vibe about it as well maybe actually sort of like a, a rye bread maybe in the taste But yeah, not too sweet, not too savoury, 
not too bitter, not too roasty. It's like a culmination of all these, let's put it stupidly, like dark beer flavours. You've got the sweet offset nice with the savoury. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light, not too smoky, not too earthy. It's just a really damn good Dunkle beer. Not the most flavoursome of efforts, but if you want a solid drinking experience, then I could highly recommend Paolana's Munchia Dunkel. <laughs> it's not the greatest Dunkel beer I've tasted, don't get me wrong, but it's far from the worst, and it's not a dull beer by any stretch of imagination. It's one that, even though it is only 5% and the body's not too heavy, there's something about the flavour where you want to take your time with it. And I think a beer like this would go perfectly with something like a roast dinner or some really like hearty cooked meats, that sort of thing, like a nice meal. And uh, yeah, a really nice little beer. So I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10 for the Paolana. I'm just going to say the Munich Dunkel, so I don't sound like a tit. It's hard because I sound like a tit no matter what I do or say. Uh, but yeah, Paolana's Munich Dunkel, a um, really good example of the Dunkel, and I'm sure that's a beer that is somewhat widely available um, in certain retails in the UK and America. So if you could stumble across it, definitely give it a try. But there are some better examples of the style out there, don't get me wrong. But 7 out of 10, it's a solid enough beer, I'd happily drink it again. And if you want to find out more about Paolana and their beers, and this beer in particular, I'll put some reference material down below. Any other interesting English language reviews of this beer, I'll put in the description box also, so you can get a much more rounded and informative opinion. Uh, check out my Paolana playlist down below. If you're on Instagram, check out the Clueless Drinker on Instagram. Subscribe for more beer reviews. If you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Watch your favourite Dunkle beer, and I shall see you later, because I've got a film to watch. Perfect companion to a good film, I'd say. I'm going to retire now, and I shall see you later. Cheers.